Hey everybody, this is John from Code Planet, uh, back with another video today about HappyJS, uh, Node.js web framework. Um, if anybody missed it, I've got two other videos, it's kind of loosely a series. Um, so I've got my introduction to HappyJS, and then I got one that I just did on routing with HappyJS. So I'd probably recommend going and watching those first on my YouTube channel or on CodePlanet.io. Um, but today we're going to talk about serving static files, which is something that you always need to do with your web framework. Um, so if we go back over here into the code, this is from last time, um, I've got this directory where I just did an npm init, and then I did uh, npm install happy dash dash save. So I've got like this little package JSON with all this generic stuff that I haven't even filled out. Um, and then I actually don't even need this anymore. So my only real dependency that I need is happy JS. Um, and basically what I've got is this index file, and all it does is from the last one is I've got these two routes that I set up. Uh, a home route that says hello from CodePlanet, and then a slash users slash username route that says hello from CodePlanet, uh, and then your name. Um, and so what we really want to do is, like, let's say on the home page we've got an image that we want to serve, um, like in an image tag or something like that. Um, so maybe instead of this uh, hello from CodePlanet or something like that, we would have... Uh, like a, I don't know, maybe something like a, some HTML, you know, that would be like an image source, and then it would be to like, uh, let's see, um, google.png or something like that. Uh, and so we want to be able to like, you know, serve that. Um, but if we go back here and we like run a uh, node on it and then we visit our server, um, we're going to see no image there uh, for a couple of different reasons. Um, the first one is we don't have an image yet. So I guess let's take care of that. Uh, just go to like google.com. I'm just going to take <clears throat> their logo and a new tab here, uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to save it, and I'm going to put it in, uh, I've got like htdocs, videos, happy video, uh, and we're just going to call it google.png, just like we did uh, earlier. So now I have this actual google.png, and I've got it saved, uh, so if I go back into here and I look, I've got my google.png, and then an index.js, I'm calling google.png. So I go ahead and I run the node server again, go back to localhost 38000, and it's still not working. Uh, and so the reason is here, if anybody's experienced with like uh, Ruby on Rails or Laravel or like a really robust framework, uh, it might already handle this stuff for you, like file assets in like a public folder or something like that. Uh, but with a lot of these node applications, uh, all that networking stuff is like really, really up to you. And so what's going on here is that we make, we make a get request to the slash and we get this page back. And then the page itself, that index.html, is making a its own get request. So it's it's making a get request to slash google.png. Uh, and we don't have anything in our code that's handling that. So it seems like it would be really trivial because google.png just exists on the file system. But with a lot of these node frameworks, and Happy's no exception, you have to handle all of those things yourself. And so those are always called like static files or serving files or something like that. Uh, and you have to do a pretty similar process, whether you're on like Express or Koa or Happy. So that's what we're going to figure out how to do today. Uh, so Happy is like really modular and comes with... Uh, maybe less functionality out of the box than some, like Express, um, but it's got a great set of plugins that you can use. And so we're going to use a plugin today to get it going, and the plugin is called Inert. Uh, so if you go to npm.js and you look up Inert, if I can spell it right, I N E R T, yeah. Uh, and we check it out here. It's a static file and directory handler for happy.js. So this is what we want. Uh, so I'm going to close out of here and go back to my terminal. I'm going to close the happy app for now. And then I'm just going to do an npm install dash dash save inert. Uh, so that'll go out and it'll fetch it and it'll uh, install it for me so that we can use it in our app. So now if I open my package.json, I can see that I have happy as a dependency and I also have inert now as a dependency. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into my index.js file. Uh, I've already got this from another video here. Uh, and I'm going to do a, you know something along the lines of this. I'll do... Uh, Instead of keeping it up here, actually, I'm just kind of having some second thoughts here. Uh, maybe what we want to do is we want to put it in, uh, they have this register function for HappyJS, which is how you register plugins. So I'm going to do it this way instead. It's a little bit different than stuff we've done so far, but it's it's essentially the same. So I'll do server.register, uh, and then I'll put the require statement for inert in here. So we don't really need it as a variable to use ever throughout the app. What we really just need is uh, for happy to know that we're registering this plugin when we register happy. 
Um, and so then we can do this kind of thing here where we will do um, a function. Uh, and technically, I think that gets passed uh, an error uh, error property. And then you can do you know something like if there was an error, this is really boilerplate stuff. Uh, you can just throw it as an exception. Um, and then, uh, which will cancel it there. So then you can kind of have your routes, uh, oops, your routes inside this server being registered with uh, inert, uh, which is kind of interesting. It's kind of a cool way of doing it. Um, so we can close this off down here like that. That's just closing out the server.register require inert. Um, and then similarly, we'll just still keep our server.start here. Um, and so let me just pause out of that and make sure that we're still working here. Okay, cool. It looks, looks like we're still good. Still got our broken image. Okay. So then the very last thing we want to do, and just for a kind of simplicity's sake, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this route that we all made together last time, uh, just so we can see everything on the screen a little bit better. So we have our get route, and that's going to hit the home page and have this image. So now what we really need to do is we need to make a new route that's actually for this image. And so with server route, we're going to pass in method again, still a get method. And then for path this time, we're going to put exactly how we're calling it here, which is slash google.png. So down here, I'll put slash google.png. And then again, just like before, we've got our handler and we pass in a function, which gets request and reply. And that function is going to do something very, very similar, but a little bit different. It's going to do a reply, but we're going to specify that this is a file. So we're saying that it's like some kind of binary data, right? Like audio or video or image, something like that. As opposed to before, we're just saying it's HTML or plain text. So we can send down that code. And uh, with that file, I think all we need to do is now we're on our file system and we already did put the google.png right in our root directory. Uh, so this might take a few tries, but I think this is how we're going to do it. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and test it out here. So I'll do node again, that builds, I'll go back here and refresh. All right, so we do still have a problem. Let's try to investigate what's going on here. Uh, fail to load resource with a 404 google.png. Um, let's go back here again, open up this index. So we're looking for google.png, that does look good. Um, google.png, google.png. Just make sure that we have, yep, google.png right there in the file system. Uh, let me see. Maybe we just need to take out that leading slash. Nah, that's still not doing it. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause for just a second and figure it out, and then we can go over it together. All right, I went ahead and found it. Um, I'm going to back up for a second just so I can go over my process in case it's helpful for anybody. Um, so I saw that I was getting this 404 not found, uh, and then I just checked a couple of times like to make sure I had the file, and then I went in index.js to make sure I was spelling everything correctly, uh, and it seemed like I was. So when I had the node server running, I tried actually navigating to google.png, just like testing a little sanity check, and I got a 404 not found. So then kind of again checking my assumptions, I went into the route for google.png, and instead of this reply file, I just tried something that I know will work, like saying, you know, reply, hello world, something like that. Uh, so I saved that, I ran it again, uh, and I saw hello world, right? So seeing hello world means I know that some stuff's working, like I know we're getting in this endpoint, um, and I know that it's, you know, it's hitting the correct thing and the handler is working. Uh, so it looks like it's just this line that I've commented out that's the problem. Um, and then just kind of hazarding a guess. I was like, oh, I wonder if it's because it's in the root of my directory, not, not a subfolder, if I, what I need to do is just specify something like just the image itself uh, without that leading forward slash. So I ran it again, came back here and refreshed, and I see the Google image. Um, so that was just kind of how I debugged that. Um, so now if we go back to this localhost uh, 3000, we've got this image in here loading. Um, so just to kind of cover it again, uh, we've got a little bit of a different approach than we've taken before. Um, and I actually think we can clean this up even more because I think you can even, let me see if this is right, I think you can actually just register the server uh, and pass the port in and it'll know what to do with it. Uh, looks like that does not work. Give me one second with it. Hmm. 
All right, well, that doesn't seem to be working, but uh, regardless of that, let's uh, delete those and then um, comment those back out again. So I guess we can't clean that one up, but either way, so we, we register uh, the server and we this is where we put in the plugin. Um, so instead of requiring it at the top, we just require it down here and then we kind of wrap our entire app in this function. Um, check really quickly for an error. If there's anything wrong, we just throw it as an exception. And then we can move on to all the stuff that we had before. I just indented it over so we can have our main route. We can pass in HTML in there. And then we also kind of have this catch here for when you route to google.png, uh, send down this file instead. Um, so I hope that was helpful a little bit, seeing me kind of stammer through it. Um, and I think we can talk a little bit more next time about a more long-term solution, like a catch-all for all sorts of files, all sorts of static files like pictures and audio and things like that. Um, but for now, it's just interesting that you can make your own endpoints here. Uh, and even if you specify something like .png, it's really up to you as the server creator what you return. As we saw, you can just return some string like hello or something like that. Uh, thanks for checking in, and stay tuned for more videos on HappyJS. Thanks.